Hey, what is up guys, Cortez, and I'm gonna be discussing something today that I don't talk about too often, and that's the hairstyling accessories. I've done a couple reviews on them so far, so I'll make sure to have a playlist in my uh, channel, which you guys can check out. Uh, today's uh, hairstyling accessories that we're gonna look at are made by Vixen and Beard. I've brought them up quite a few times on my channel, and I've also done a review on their pomade that they make, which you guys should check out. I'll have a link for that in the description below. But today I'm going to be taking a, taking a look at the combs that they actually produce. Uh, well, just their hairstyling accessories in general. So the first comb I'm going to look at is their dressing comb. Now, it's more of a wide slash medium tooth uh, comb just because you have a bit of spacing between the comb or between the teeth. But uh, I wouldn't say it's something too wide, but it's also, uh, I would say, medium length. This one I typically use when I'm going to get my hair prepped for parting. So what I'll typically do is I just slick my hair back and then once I find the good part or a good spot to part my hair, that's when I'll get my uh, a fine tooth comb and I'll create the part in my hair to just get it ready and to uh, you know really get it straightened out without having to get a hard part like some guys just because I'm more, I prefer just the old school look to it. This one's also useful if you're using a product that has a, uh, that's matte. So if you're using a paste, clay, or even matte pomade, this one works well for it just because since it's very much a uh, casual hairstyle, you're not worried about the details. So this one's useful for just getting the shape right. So that's something I could appreciate about that. Also, what I like too is how thick it is. I mean, this thing is just... It is like built to last and I know I'll run this under the water a bunch of times and it does not get brittle so it's very well made. It's uh, it's made with acetate so the beauty about this is that it doesn't get all staticky too if you're just combing your hair while it's regular or like if it's just wet or even dry it doesn't uh, really give you that fuss. So that's what I like about this you know just well made quality built and just freaking thick. Next up is the folding comb that they also make. Now I know folding combs are typically associated more with uh, beard, uh, grooming beards, just because I know guys will apply oils, they comb their beards, and that's kind of just the way they do it to get it nice and managed. Uh, for this though, I've just, I was curious about it as well because I know Kent also produces a folding comb as well. And so I was just, I just wanted to see what I could do with it. And obviously because it is a fine tooth comb, I use this more for detailing my hair. So sometimes issues I'll run into with um, in terms of detailing is that I'll get mean splitting in the middle. Sometimes I'll get hairs on the sides that just aren't falling together when I'm combing them. So I'll sometimes use this one, especially when I'm on the go because of how portable it is. So I'll you know use this for combing my sides and uh, you know fixing splits. This actually works pretty well for that. Um, makes it uh, makes my hair a bit more cohesive in a sense and just like the just like the dressing comb this one also has uh, it's also made out of acetate and so it's you feel that quality there it's not very it doesn't give you any static and it's just very uh, it, it's you can tell there's quality there's it's built to last and it has quite a bit of uh, integrity behind it finally is their round brush now this one I kind of use when I'm doing various hairstyles using hairspray and the reason why is because hairspray deals more with volume as opposed as opposed to flattening like the other like the other combs. So this one I say is just more for if I'm just trying to build up volume. Uh, unlike the other ones I don't like to get this one wet because this one is actually made out of wood and if you get wood really wet it kind of sticks to it or it stays with it that is. Um, you're gonna get splitting and it'll break. So that was something I, I avoid with when I'm using this. Uh, what I like about it is if I'm using an oil-based pomade and I just comb down little hairs that are poking out because that's very common with oil-based pomades since it's not as stiff as a water-based pomade. So this one kind of helps with that, just kind of folding them under thicker hairs in place. Uh, going back to, like I said, uh, when I'm using hairspray and I'm gonna do something like a pump and I'm, you know, I have to get the volume, this helps keep it in place and builds up that volume. 
So that's something that if you're a guy that you're just trying to build volume with your hair, this one works for that pretty well. Overall, these products, uh, I do enjoy using them. I've had them for about a year already, so I've kind of understood what I can and can't do with them. But luckily, they're ideal for shaping, prepping, and uh, fine-tuning my hair as I'm styling it because obviously it does take time and if you want to look your best, then you have to put in the effort. And luckily, these tools help you with that. I recommend you guys check them out, especially thick hair gentlemen that just have serious difficulties with managing your hair. I know that these are a few accessories that you can probably use in your collection. Definitely, I would recommend checking out the shop as well. I go to it frequently when anytime I stop in town and they just recently got a barber shop inside the store as well. So if you're looking to get a haircut there as well, they can do that too. Um, like I said, highly recommend these products, great shop. And you know what, these are ones I, I do use frequently. Thanks for watching guys. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Watch